catch me. Who want disrespect me? Shove a ring that's on me. You know that shot been deadly. He cost was on road with these weapons. Now he's two out blazing up their shins. When I was on road, I hit to 11. Split that two ways, counting up blessings. This is the insane true story of a rapper who had his back against the wall and fought through adversity and many different obstacles when life wasn't going his way, and how he turned it all around and become one of the fastest rising rappers in the scene. And if you don't know by now, I'm talking about Snowy Badman. This is his story so far. Snowy Badman grew up in Sydney, Australia, around the Waterloo, Marrickville areas. He's also half Jamaican. He had a very troubled upbringing and first got arrested around 12 years old. The crime rate in Waterloo back in the late 90s and early 2000s was very high, which went hand in hand as to why Snowy got into so much trouble as a youth. He was involved in a few incidents when he was younger that I won't get into that steered his path in the wrong direction and led him to drugs. He's been in and out of prison since he was about 13 years old and his last stint he did 10 years straight. While incarcerated, he never thought about rapping. He thought about getting out and going straight back to the street life. He always dabbled in rapping while incarcerated, but never took it seriously. It wasn't until one night he heard 6-7 take it there on the Triple J Hip Hop show and thought he might be able to do this too. He then released a freestyle from his prison cell titled Lock Off. It was over a drill beat and it instantly had the whole scene talking and asking who is Snowy Badman. The track was released on Spanion's YouTube channel who had a few subscribers at the time. Him and Spanion were even cellmates for 6 months while locked up. He was very hesitant at the time to put out tracks from his jail cell, but eventually he stuck to his guns and it paid off. And um, old matey who used to, who made me an Instagram and all that, he's saying, rap, 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 I know you can rap. And I'm, bro, fuck rap, lad. I want to get out and fucking pump stick ups and fucking sell drugs. You know what I mean? Straight out, that's what I wanted yeah. to do. Um, you know, man, I had the hood mentality, yeah. 100%. You know, I didn't give a fuck about nothing, you know? Um, but then, yeah, he's like, rap, 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 rap. So I've done a few videos, whatever. And he's like, let me put him up. I've got no way. It's Redsky, you know? Yeah. Um, he I got done with the phone. Sealed in, let him put him up. Got got a phone again. That's when I spoke to you again. And I was at Park Lee. And I, and I, and I just got sentenced, remember? And I go, bro, I'm doing 10 now. Yeah. Fucking blah, blah, blah. That was the next time I had a phone I spoke to you. Yeah. And um, I, I was probably the night I got sentenced. I was think that, it would have yeah. been, yeah. yeah, yeah. I would have been shattered. Um, and we talked for ages, bro. I remember yeah. we were on the phone for like an hour. I remember. Um, when you live, I think you were still in Willow then. Anyways, yeah. um, yeah, lad. And then once I got sentenced uh, and, and, and I started doing the music, I swear the music so helped me so much, bro. Like, it kept me yeah. fucking occupied. And it, when I was on the phone, it kept me from, instead of trying to fucking chat to bitches and get someone to come bring me a drop or worrying about drugs, at least I was doing something positive, yeah, you know what yeah. I mean? Um, and then, yeah. And then I just kept doing that. And then I finally figured out a little formula how to record yeah. and actually get it on in the studio and yeah. He now had a new purpose in life and that was to record new music from his jail cell. He recorded a few more freestyles which are on YouTube, you should check them out. But he decided he wanted to record a whole mixtape from his prison cell and be the first rapper in Australia to do so. He then recorded a whole mixtape titled Three Bad Men from his jail cell. He teamed up with producer Utility who helped him get the music to the best quality from the outside. For the situation he was in, the mixtape is insanely good and the quality is a lot better than you'll expect so go back and listen if you already haven't. He would also drop music videos from the inside using cartoons that he helped design. He dropped music videos while inside for songs like Shabba, Three On My Team and On The Map. They all done hundreds and thousands of views. He was starting to create a massive buzz for himself in the outside, something like we've seriously never seen before. And not just because he was locked up, the quality of his music was incredible. The way he delivers each bar is a skill in itself. The screws even heard his music on the outside and would randomly raid his cell trying to catch him on his phone. And then, yeah, and then I just kept doing that and then I finally figured out a little formula how to record yeah. and actually get it on in the studio and yeah, and then I kicked off from there. Like, like um, record through your phone? On my mobile, yeah, yeah, on the mobile. Yeah, yeah. so anyone so who, tell, thought, tell how you were anyone who thought it was uh, on the jail phone, nah, you're an idiot, I had a mobile, I had a fucking, <laughs> I had a little Jelly Pro, I had Samsung's, I had a couple, yeah. but yeah, if they run in on you, what are you gonna do? There's nothing you can do, you have to so flush what, it down so the So what toilet. were you doing, like recording? Voice recording, so I have through... the beat, I have the beat in my ear, I had headphones, I plug into the mobile, yeah. I play the beat. And the mic um, and the headphones had a mic on it? No, 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 I used the mic on the phone, and then I just voice recording, so I got the, uh, beat there, and then yep. the phone's the mic. So that's it. And you could so do you one minute voice recordings. Yeah. Verse. yeah, and then they would put it on the beat. With an already established fan base and a mixtape under his belt, he was now due to be released from prison. He even had a manager organised who was a long time friend. But after spending a decade in prison, he didn't know who to trust with his music career. 
He had all sorts of people in his ear telling him what to do with his music career, but he found it hard to adjust to normal life. And within just three weeks of being released from prison, he ended up doing his first live show. Different situation. Because you had it like rolling from before you got out. So people were waiting for uh, you yeah. to get out. Yeah, that's I, felt like, I felt like when I got out, like I got chucked out of a moving car. Yeah. That's the best way to, to Anyone that's asked me, like imagine a car going like 60 and it's like, go. <laughs> yeah, yeah, go, yeah. Go on, get the fuck out. <laughs> yeah, 100%. That's it. Because yeah. you got out, you already had a manager, you had things lined yeah, up. Yeah, well, I'm my manager's So it's yeah, yeah. sort of, it lasts my brethren since I was like eight years old. So yeah. that's different. But like uh, the other, meeting all these people who they know my music and I don't know them. Yeah. Um, like I'm, I'm polite. Like it's yeah, cool. Yeah. You know, it's just weird for me though. That's yeah, what, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, that's it. Yeah. He was doing as many shows as possible. He even got the opportunity to support Cursor at his Sydney show at a sold out gig. He also jumped on a track with Vince Sins and Husky, which now has over a million views over all platforms. He then dropped his first track since being released from prison, titled Bad Men Returns. It now has 250,000 views just on YouTube, and he didn't disappoint. He now had access to proper studios and producers, and the quality in the music showed. He then went up another level, dropping his track, Threats, which is now trending on YouTube. As for now, Snowy plans to stay out of trouble and stay out of the streets and focus solely on music. From where he's come from and what he's been able to achieve, I find it incredible and I take my hat off to him. From spending a whole decade in prison to what he's been able to achieve now, you have to admire what Snowy's done. He possesses such a unique talent on the mic and this is only just the beginning. This has been the story so far by Desired Oz Rap. Thanks for watching. You reckon you're going to go back to jail? Nah lad, I'm just a rapper now. That's for it. sure? Yeah, for sure, bro. For sure, for sure, for sure, for sure. Yeah, yeah. It's good to hear. Lad, I just, I just, just these talk and shit, they just need to stop and just come and do it to my face, bro, because I don't want to go to jail. I don't, you know what I mean? Yeah.